Shared parameters are custom parameters that you define and add to multiple categories of elements in a project. They can be shared amongst several other projects or families, hence the name Shared Parameter. You can use shared parameters in schedules and tags. You can create shared parameters while working in a project and in the family editor. When you create a project parameter, it can appear in schedules but not in tags. Family parameters do not appear in schedules or tags. You must create shared parameters in order to have parameters appear in tags. Projects and families then reference the shared parameters. This keeps parameters consistent and cuts down on errors. Shared parameters are stored in external shared parameter files. They are just simple text files. However, be aware that you can only link one shared parameter file to a project. In this model, select one of the curtain walls in the current view. Then, in the Properties palette, click Edit Type. Realize that this wall does not have a property to identify the insulation rating of the glass. All the type parameters deal with the wall construction, and no identification properties reference the glazing. Click Cancel to close the dialog. Now select a window and choose Edit Type. Once again, there is not a property to identify the insulation rating of the glass. We can create a shared parameter in order to specify the glazing types for windows and curtain walls. Click Cancel to close the dialog. To create a shared parameter, on the Manage ribbon, in the Settings panel, select Shared Parameters. Revit displays the Edit Shared Parameters dialog. Here, you can click Browse to find a previously created shared parameter file, or choose Create. In this case, select Create. In the Create Shared Parameter File dialog, navigate to the folder where the exercise files for this chapter are located and name the file CAD Learning Shared Parameters. Then click Save. Back in the Edit Shared Parameters dialog, the shared parameter file is mapped to the text file you just created. The first thing you must do now is create a group. In the Group section, click New. In the New Parameter Group dialog, enter Energy Ratings and then click OK. Once you do, the new group name appears in the Parameter Group list. Also, in the Parameter section, New is available. Select New. In the Parameter Properties dialog, type Glazing Rating in the Name field. Realize that you can also choose the discipline and type of parameter. Set the type to text. Below that, you can see the tooltip description if one has been added. If a tooltip description has not been specified, it will read No Tooltip Description. To add one, click Edit Tooltip. This displays the Edit Tooltip dialog which is essentially a text box to add up to 250 characters to describe the parameter. This can help all team members better understand the parameter that you have created. Replace the default text with Enter Manufacturer's Specified Glazing Rating. Click OK to close each of the dialogues. Now you can use the shared parameter to create a project parameter. To do so, on the Manage ribbon, in the Settings panel, click Project Parameters. The Project Parameters dialog lists parameters that have been created in this project. Click Add to open the Parameter Properties dialog. In the Parameter Type section, you can see that there are two types of parameters that can be created, Project or Shared Parameters. Pay attention to the differences. Project parameters can appear in schedules, but not in tags. 
Shared parameters, on the other hand, can be shared by multiple projects and families, exported to ODBC, and appear in schedules and tags. Select Shared Parameter. The first three options in the Parameter Data section dim. Recall that when you created the shared parameter, you specified those three options. Also, Select is active. Click Select to open the Shared Parameters dialog. Since this project is now mapped to the Shared Parameter file you created, the shared parameters in that file appear here. Once again, remember that you can only use one shared parameter file in a project. Since you only have one shared parameter, glazing rating is highlighted. Click OK. Back in the Parameter Properties dialog, on the right side in the Categories list, select Doors, Walls, and Windows. Notice that you can use the Filter list to display categories from other disciplines. Also, you can use Check All or Check None to quickly select the categories you want. Select Hide Unchecked Categories to make sure you selected the categories you want. In the Parameter Data section, choose Type so that this parameter is a type property. Next, in the Group parameter under Dropdown, choose Green Building Properties. Click OK to close the Parameter Properties dialog. Now the new parameter appears in the Project Parameters list. Click OK to close this dialog. Select the curtain wall again and click Edit Type in the Properties palette. At the bottom of the dialog, you can see that Glazing Rating has been added under the new section. When you hover your cursor over the parameter, a tooltip appears that shows the parameter name along with the custom tooltip that you added. Since rating systems vary by location, enter an arbitrary value of 2 and then click OK. Now select a window and open its type properties. Once again, the new parameter appears. Enter 2 for the glazing rating, and then click OK to close the dialog. Recall that you chose doors, walls, and windows as the categories for the project parameter. Therefore, Elements in those categories will have the glazing rating parameter in this project. But remember that the parameter is still a project parameter. Therefore, if the loadable families are used in another project, the parameter will not be available. However, you can open any family in the family editor and add a shared parameter. Then the parameter would be available in any project in which the family was loaded into. In this case, you added a parameter to a wall, which is a system family, so using the shared parameter to create a project parameter was the best option. Since you created a shared parameter, you can also use the parameter in a tag. Select one of the window tags and then click Edit Family in the contextual ribbon. In the Window Tag family, select the text. This is actually a label, which reports values for designated parameters. In the Contextual ribbon, click Edit Label. In the Edit Label dialog, pay attention to the Category Parameters list on the left. The Glazing Rating parameter is currently not available, but you can add it. Click Add Parameter below the list. In the Parameter Properties dialog, you can see that Shared Parameter is the only option. Click Select to open the Shared Parameters dialog. Since you opened this family from the project, the family is also mapped to the Shared Parameter file you created. Here, you can choose the Shared Parameter and use it in a tag. Do not modify the window tag at this time. Simply close the dialogs and close the family.
Realize that creating shared parameters allows for much more flexibility when creating tags and schedules, as well as use between other projects and families. In this example, you created a shared parameter and then used it to create a project parameter. Be aware that you can also add shared parameters directly to a family in the family editor, and then load the family into a project.